What's up, Brick Dudes and Brickettes? Brickman USA back here with another review. And man, guys, am I excited for this one. Lego Avatar is finally here. No, not the last airbender, sadly. James Cameron. I would really suggest you guys giving these sets a chance if you are interested. Today's review is on Lego Avatar set number 75573, Floating Mountains, Site 26, and RDA Sampson with 887 pieces and five minifigs retailed for $99.99 USD, guys. Let's get into this thing. One thing I really love about these Avatar sets is just the vibrant box art. Here is the top of the box. You see we get a look at the figs and some of the scenery we get in the set. And the main box fig you see there is the Jake Soli Avatar. Taking a closer look at the back of the box, just look at how detailed this thing is, guys. The blues and the vibrant colors really make this thing pop out. As you can see, there are some of the play functions we get in this awesome set. Cracking this thing open, we get three instruction booklets. Yes, guys, three boring instruction booklets. Although they are the regular boring instruction booklets, not the original ones with the box art, which I wish Lego would go back to, these instruction booklets are pretty detailed, as you can see the blue with the little avatar things on the side. And then right there, that's what I really like with these instruction booklets. And In some of these sets, we get the little stills of what we are building from the movie, which I really love that detail. The first fig we get in this set is Jake Soley with the awesome RDA Samson torso. I really like that about him. Although this face isn't exclusive to this set, the double side of his face is with this awesome mask that they wear in Avatar because you guys know they can't breathe the air. And then the second fig, debatably my favorite fig in this set, is Dr. Grace Augustine or Sigoni Weaver. We finally got a Sigoni Weaver fig, guys. I really love the dual molded legs on her with the side printing and her torso is just super detailed fig, and I think they knocked it out the park with this one, guys. Next fig we get is Trudy Chacon, and I really love her torso printing. As you can see, the silver lines and the white just really make it pop off along with her silver necklace. And her second face is my favorite. As you guys know, in the movie, if you've seen Avatar, she kind of has her war paint on with her uh, helicopter headpiece, and I think it looks really good, really sick, really accurate. The first avatar we fig we get in this set is Jake Sully. And man, did this fig just blow me away with all the different colors popping off there. And like the silver accents just really give this fig an edge. I know some people don't like the ears, but as you can see on the next one with Norm Spellman as well with the avatars, I think the, knee, the ears are a necessity. I believe these avatar figs are really awesome. And I love this fig because we get the tall legs and tan. Taking a look at the first chunk of this set, we have Site 26. And right now we have Dr. Grace Augustine, Jake Sully, and then the Jake Sully avatar there. I know that wouldn't be in the universe. I just put it there because I thought it looked good. Although I really like the way this thing is built. It is kind of small to me, and without figs, it kind of reminds me of some Nautica base. But it is really awesome, and we'll get into the details of this six Site 26. On the back of Site 26, here's the back of it. You can see we just have the stilts, but as you push up, the roof comes off, revealing the interior of the build. And then looking inside of the build, you see we have the avatar chamber and just a computer. Not too uh, big of an interior, but the thing I really liked is the Jake Sully sticker right there. And then here's what Site 26 looked like in the movie. So Lego kind of went the cheap route and didn't include both of the sides, but I guess if you want to get two sets, you can. Right there, you see we have Dr. Grace Augustine's computer. And then as you see in the next shot, here's what it looked like in the movie. So just really cool details that I'm glad Lego threw into this set. And then here you see we have Jake Sully right there next to the avatar chamber getting ready to go into the avatar. And you see you open it and it has a blue thing. It's just so awesome. Here's what the avatar chamber looked like in the movie. You know, Lego did the best they could to make this thing look great. And I think they did. From a top point of view, here's how you do it. You just open up the avatar chamber there. Pop Jake Soli out of his wheelchair, because as you guys know, he is paralyzed. And then you put him in there, and he is all ready to go and become an avatar. Really awesome detail that I think LEGO needed to put in one of these sets. I'm so glad they did. And then taking a look at the second half of the set, we have the RDA Samson and kind of like part of Pandora. It is pretty awesome, but not my favorite part of the set, in my opinion. Here down here is just kind of like a little Pandora, some... Uh, 
some agriculture. It looks all right, just kind of minuscule. But then we have Jake Soley on. I don't know what that thing is. It's like the horse thing from the movie. I forgot what the name was. It's been a couple years since I've seen it, guys. But really excited to see the new one. But as you see there, they do have the hair connection thing as they do in the movie, which I thought is super awesome. And Lego needed to include that, obviously. So popping the helicopter off of the scenery, it's just that little pin up there, simple. Although it does have a stand, the helicopter is a little bit heavy towards the right, but I think it looks really good and it is a decent set. And here's the helicopter off the stand by itself, the RDA Samson, and I really like this thing, guys. This is one of my favorite uh, helicopters that Lego has made in the last couple of years and it looks really sleek, really good to the movie thing. But it also looks like a Halo helicopter, as I have seen for, um, for some of my Halo uh, buddies through the Lego group that they have said that this is a Halo helicopter. So mock builders would love that. But overall together, guys, I think this is an awesome set to start off your Avatar collection if you haven't gotten into this yet. But one thing I do am going to note about this set, it is a little pricey for $100 with 886 pieces. I think LEGO could have made this thing an $85 to $90, $90 set max. It didn't need to be $100, but with the licensing, I guess it comes with that. So overall on the Brickman Scout, even though I really love this set, guys, due to the $100 price tag, I am going to rate it a 6.5 out of 10 on the Brickman Scale. Although I really do recommend these Avatar sets, guys. They do have a really a lot of cool pieces. I love the colors of them. And if you guys liked Avatar as a kid, you really love these sets now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And thank you so much for all the support, guys. It means the world to me. 100 subscriber giveaway coming soon. Brickman. Oh!